Governor Godwin Obaseki's thugs preceding his arrival invaded Akpana village, headquarters of Woten Esako West Local Government Area, which incidentally is Ushumole's ward. They shot sporadically in all directions and destroyed all APC bibles in the community. A car belonging to an APC leader in the community, Mr. Wilson Idewo, was vandalized. Four persons sustained gunshot injuries. First is in the, the first person is in critical condition and presently hospitalized. When information reached us, we asked our boys not to retaliate, no matter the provocation, so that the headlines tomorrow will not be screaming Obaseki attacks in Ushumole's ward, which we know was their intention. All the villagers ran into their various houses and shut their doors to avoid becoming casualties. When Godwin Obaseki eventually arrived at the venue, he addressed his entourage at the village square, in, interspersed with gunshots before leaving Akweno for us to lick our wounds. We are, we are essentially a peace-loving people who harbor violence in whichever form. But whoever sanctioned this violation of our innocence, whether it is from our village or a stranger, will definitely incur the wrath of a Akbana. <laughs> so guys, who are we going to believe now? Yesterday, the president, uh, I said the president, the governor came out and said, Oh, you can imagine, see me, oh, see me, oh. they want to do this, oh. they want to kill me, oh. see me. Oh. Even from uh, the incident, we learned that uh, the... The deputy governor had to come out with the security people. They started pursuing those who came to attack them. Oh, Obaseki came out and said it was Oshomole that arranged it. Oh, it was Oshomole that arranged it. Oshomole wanted to take his life. Now, the story has changed again. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Can you see the way these people are just playing with Nigerians? Playing with our minds. So, who, okay, now who is now in charge that will now investigate who did this or who, or who did not do that? Who is going to take charge? Because we have the police, we have those who are supposed to investigate. What are they doing? We, I don't even understand. Let us even know the culprit. Let us know who is who. Let us know who is wrong. Who, let us know who is right. Who, let us know who is evil. Because this uh, accusation back and forth is, 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 is demeaning or is, is unfortunate. The country is just like a, nobody is even in charge. Everybody, this one will say this one today, this one will say another day today. Is it not the right, yeah, the right, it's not the right time for the people, these police people to swing into action? What are they waiting for? What is the problem? Today, some people now say, oh, yeah, so they want to deal with our party. Oh, they, they want to deal with the other party. Who are we going to believe? Who is saying the right thing? Who is looking for trouble? Who is after each other? <sighs> it's, un it's unfortunate. It's even laughable because even the way it's been, it's been put, you know, you know, you don't have choice than to just be laughing. This is actually laughable. Of course, how can any reasonable man believe that a scrap motto we, we, uh, we is what we destroy uh, by Obaseki stock? If there's any, a mere look at the vehicle, the number, everything about the vehicle shows that it is a mere scrap waiting for a bookie to pieces. And then the little boy does not look mahandled. After all, after all, he's not eligible to vote. So why attack him? So what are they telling us? This is a sheer wickedness and rare wickedness against the innocent women and glorious children in that community. With the vandalization of APCB, but it shows that it was PDP criminal elements that perpetrated the act of criminality at Adams Ushumole. We should be very careful because politics is not a do or die uh, affair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, Oshumole is naturally wicked and violent. He arranged and sent thugs to disrupt the election in Akwaibom in the last election in support of APC. The Bible says, He who lives by sword will surely die by the sword. It's just unfortunate. The innocent will also suffer. We all know Oshumole is a bloody liar and an unrepentant adult rascal. This story is false. The car is one of the is one that is no longer in use. Where are the tires and complete photo of the car? Where are those who sustain wounds from gunshots? You would have jumped at the opportunity to give details. Stubborn liar. Leaf story. Criminality is the old mark old mark of APC. APC will vandalize and destroy and accuse other of the acts committed by APC just to paint other in bad light. 
Obaseki didn't have time for nonsense. That is handwork of Oshumole and Eze Yamu. Attack is only from the is okay. Attack is only form of defense. But is APC uh, start all this? Shit? It is APC that started all of this. Is I don't even know whoever that started it. I think uh, this uh, the, the security people, security people are supposed to be neutral and they are supposed to swing into action. This DSS will not swing into action. They will not tell you that uh, oh we've seen this is we've seen this. But once they see an innocent person who is trying to expose them, that is when they will now know that uh, some people want to turn the country upside down. Why is the neutral body? Because that is how they ought to be. But unfortunately, that is not the true situation. They are just not there. We don't even know. They just want to tilt to the maybe to the to the polit political party that is so powerful, that is in charge. That is what they always do. You know, try to to read body language because they are the ones that are supposed they are supposed to shed more light on all this that we are experiencing that we are hearing. It's been a long time. The other day they said oh, Oshomole has brought uh, some people into the city. Investigation will not they will not carry investigation. The other day we learned that uh, the uh, commissioner for youth, the uh, commissioner for youth that uh, his house was attacked. Up to today, we don't know the perpetrators of those uh, acts. And every day, complain, 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 complain. This is another trick just to scare people away in the on the day of election. If they continue like this, how will people have that confidence to come out to say we want to really vote with all of this? Is what is happening? Hmm. It's on. It's re it's really serious. Obaseki, Obaseki, by the power of Almighty God, your hand has finally come <laughs> from this moment. God Almighty has turned your whatever. This one is just saying what I don't even understand. This is what we call Umwemu for Umwemu, according to the Rubus. Umwemu, Umwemu, okay, according to the Rubus. Okay, what's the meaning of that? Okay, okay. Please, people of Edo, stop this. Is that all about to happen? Talks we always want to impress the Auga. Talks, okay. Nigerians are not kids. This is propaganda. I believe the villagers have hand in the disturbance. According to the writer, the villagers locked themselves up in their homes. Haba for Ushumole village. Hmm. Ushumole gang gangsterism and thuggery will not help you to will not help you or will help your godson the same. You describe as a criminal. Okay. It was APC-led federal government talks. Who did that? Not PDP or Obaseki teams. We are, we were present. We were present. We saw everything. It was APC talks who attacked Obaseki convoys. PDP never retaliated, but only protected themselves and the governor from being harmed. This news is false. People should be truthful. Oshomole playing games. He knows very well he cannot win. It's a dangerous one. Venturing into doing... If he should be ready for the negative effects, I will not argue or agree with the innocent lady issue, but innocent lady issue. But this car I'm seeing in that picture is an old and condemned one. Please don't tell us about this, uh, this kind of car again. Oshimole is trying to cause trouble that we consume those youth who don't have sense. Can his son go to fight? The answer is no. Not only Oshumole, all politicians, whether from Obaseki or from Oshumole or Eze Yamu, their children will never see them on the streets. So, guys, let us hear your opinion concerning this whole thing. My one is that I don't know who is right, who is not, uh, who is wrong, but the issue is that what is the security people, what are they doing to shed more light to all of this, is to arrest those who are who are doing all of this is why everything is just quiet the president is not even saying anything i don't i don't understand who is going to bring these people to order to call them to order